Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad I'm excited for a new day, new beginning. Dear friend, be up on your feet and get yourself started. The strength is there until you are up and you get yourself something doing, dear friend. You didn't achieve any result. Yes, yes, yes. Well, the, the Euro 2024, it's about to come to an end. By the end of this week, the Euros will be over. All players will be going back for holidays, from holidays to their respective clubs. But then, you know, something great. I will start from the Euros. Yes, I have started already from the Euros and I want to continue before I move to Chelsea because great things are happening to your club, Chelsea, dear friend. I'll be giving you a shout out at the end of this video. Don't go anywhere. Your name might just pop up in my shout out this very morning. A very good morning to you around the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, in Canada, wherever you are, or even in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, here with me, dear friend, you are highly, highly welcome. We are starting from the Euros, and there's a record which I want to bring to you quickly before I get to Chelsea. Lamini Yama. Lamini Yama, the young man, the 16-year-old, doing amazing things in the Euros. Dear friend, I want to give you some quick records about Yamini Yama right now. Yes, he is a great, great player. Honestly speaking, looking at his record right now, Lamini Yama becomes the youngest player ever to win man of the match in UEFA game. The youngest player ever to score at the Euros. <laughs> uh, the youngest player ever to assist at the Euros. The youngest player ever to feature at the Euros. The youngest player ever to feature in El Clasico. The youngest player ever to score in La Liga game. The youngest player ever to assist in Bacchus shirt. <laughs> the youngest player ever in Barcelona's history to reach 50 official games. The youngest player ever to feature in UEFA Champions League knockout game at the age of what 16 my dear friend the youngest player ever to play or to score a brace in la liga history yes the youngest player ever to reach top three podium of the golden boy that is a record for yamini lamar well 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 dear friend let's now move to chelsea chelsea man even though he's still in the euros Yes, Mark Kukrela, that many have written off, including one pundit. I don't want to mention his name here because I'm very angry with him. I don't want to go into him, but the truth is that no one expected him to come this far with Spain. Spain is in the final of the Euro 2024 by knocking out <laughs> almighty France. Almighty Mbappe is out from the Euros 2024. Dear friend, I mean, they can only fight for what? Which position would they fight for now? Well, but the fact remains that the finals is going to be Spain against who? Tonight we get to know who is going to meet Spain in the final. Dear friend, can't tell you how happy I am for this guy. Mark Kukrela, Mark Kukrela. Kukrela was probably never going to be in this Spain squad if it wasn't for the injuries to Baldi and Gaia. And even after he was named alongside Grimaldo, he was supposed, he was supposed to be the backup to the Leverkusen man. Yes, he was supposed to be the backup to Grimaldo at the left back. But man, he sees the opportunity. He sees the opportunity and he's making good use of it. He has delivered at that left back for Spain. So far, so good. Respect, man, Kukurela. Respect, very big respect to Kukurela. Our own Mark Kukurela, dear friend. All right, all right. Now let's get started with Chelsea. The main issues on at stake this very hour. You see, looking at the first two trainings so far, even the first day at work, Enzo Maresca on Monday, we've seen clearly that the guy means business, tactically, positional play. Enzo Maresca is very intense and involved in training sessions. He is involved in training sessions himself. M most coaches, when they get to the training ground. They don't get involved so much. They, they have their assistants that work, you know, things out on the training ground. They'll just be observing, watching around. But looking at the video, as you're watching right now on your screen, he is always involved. He is the main man involved in the training. Rather unfortunately, I cannot play the audio for you, but you could hear clearly the instructions he's giving. 
whilst running here and there. Like most positional football managers, he is obsessed with making sure the players make the right passes and occupy the right positions. What stands out for me is how fast his message drives home. He's very clear in the instruction he's giving to the players. If you follow Leicester last season and understand how difficult it is to train position play, you must have been in awe of how quick he got players that mostly haven't played that brand of football to embrace it and deliver. Dear friend, I believe the process should be a lot quicker at Chelsea. Yes, with the profile of the players we have assembled, I believe. Dear friend, just as you, as you watch that video, you can replay the video over and over again and see it. You see, and Viega, Viega, one player that we just signed, one player like, like Viega that we just signed, you see, Viega is one of the many players under evaluation by Mareska right now. He is under Mareska right now. He wants to give everyone a chance before making decisions on the transfers in and out. So as you can see the players right there, the new Blues manager began pre-season training yesterday, or the day before yesterday even, and wants to look at his striking options. He is looking critically at his striking options. With Nicola Jackson, Christopher Nkuku and new signing Magwe already on the books. And they are all ready, they are all there in, the, in camp. Their performance and fitness levels in preseason will dictate whether Chelsea push to sign another striker. Nicola Jackson, Christopher Nkuku and Magwe, their performance and fitness level. Right now, they are in camp with a coach and he's observing them carefully. Their fitness level and their performance will determine whether Chelsea indeed will have to sign another striker or not in this transfer window, according to Niza Kinzela, dear friend. The squad, as we speak, yesterday, they undertook the blip test challenge. And the winner actually was Malogusto. <laughs> yes, yes, Malogusto was the winner on the blip test challenge. Malogusto, he was the winner there. Interesting how there is clearly some positional work already ongoing on. It's very interesting to see in the, in the videos you are watching there, how there is clearly some positional work already ongoing. With the first two days in training, you could see clearly Enzo Mareska is taking the players through positional work. Madweke, Kanechuku Emeka, Tariq George, McGuay, Raheem Sterling, Ben Chiwell, Chaloba, Badia Shelly, Christopher Nkuku, Riz James, Achiampo, among those in the video, doing the positional work. Now, Gusto, Malogusto, Nicola Jackson, Romeo Lavia, Kellyman, Disasi, Tosin, Andrew, Moidrick, Sanchez, Casadai, Dewsbury Hall, Humphrey, Angelo, Gilchrist, Levi Cowell, Wesley Fofana, Washington, Sanchez, Bettinelli, Beach, Beckstrom. Those are, the, those are pictured in the other video, doing physical work. You know, I have all this list here, dear friend. Don't worry. You, I know, we know our players. <laughs> we know our players. Those are pictured in the other videos, doing physical work, which include a blip test and spinning bikes. Strong squad available already. This strong squad that is available, it excludes the ones that are in Euros and in Copa America. Yes. Like, like uh, Moise Casado, like Enzo Fernandez, like Marco Crella, you know, it excludes them. But look at the strong squad already available. Enzo Maresca will soon have Chelsea playing fluid possession based football. Trust me. Trust me. Dear friend, dear friend, trust me. Well, you see, let me just let you go on this note. This is not Europe. This is not Argentina. This is the USA where football is called soccer. Look at the picture there. Yesterday, Argentina versus Canada. Just look at the screen. Look at Lionel Messi's influence is unreal. Over 80,000 spectators, dear friend. On that note, dear friend, quickly, let me give you some big shout out. Big shout out to Lloyd Fury from Zambia. Very big shout out to you. Very good morning to you in Zambia. 
Odunayo, Ogun State, Nigeria. Odunayo from Ogun State, Nigeria. Very big shout out to you. Yes, yes. Edem Silivi, Edem Silivi, Nigeria. Very big shout out to you this morning, wherever you are. Samuel Delight, Abuja, Nigeria. Very big shout out to you. <coughs> Sorry. Agba Awo, Nigeria. Very big shout out to you. Very big shout out to you. Oche Sunday, big shout out to you in Nigeria out there, Nigeria. Yes, my big brothers in Nigeria. Very big shout out to you all. All right. Last but not the least this morning. Ilia, Ilia, Nanti, Ilia, Nanti from Jos or Jos, Nigeria. Very big shout out to you all out there. Keep your messages coming in. I will be back with more exclusives in the coming hours. This is just an update of what transpired yesterday at the training camp and what to expect from Enzo Mareska and the squad, what they are doing currently. I'll see you in the next one. You see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.